So in today's matchup, we have Baby Otachi versus Scrapper. Now this is a fan requested matchup and a very interesting matchup for sure. Not that long ago, I did the Mega Kaiju versus Muto Prime, which is maybe one of the biggest scale matchups ever. Two of the more deadly monsters in all of the MonsterVerse, Pacific Rim universe. And in this matchup, we have probably one of the smallest battles between Baby Otachi and Scrapper, two very small weak monsters. While being a very minor small matchup, this is definitely still an interesting matchup for sure. There are a lot of different items to go into this, but let's get right into it. Baby Otachi comes into this battle. Basically, all we see from this creature is that it's basically a newborn kaiju. It comes right out of Otachi, the first time it ever sees Earth and is coming out rampaging around and dies by it strangling itself on the umbilical cord. You think it dies the first time, then it doesn't, stands back up and eats Hannibal Chow. But ultimately, we really don't know. This is obviously a newborn Otachi. So most of the weapons that Otachi has, I'm really not seeing in this kaiju. The tail is not developed. It's mentioned the lungs aren't even developed, so it might not be able to breathe that well out in the atmosphere. Pretty sure the acid is not a thing. Pretty sure the wings don't work, so a lot of the items from Otachi are not developed yet, which is definitely worth noting. Most of the deadly weapons for Otachi are not even formed. But with Scrapper, Scrapper is a very small Jaeger and is named Scrapper for a reason. It was scrapped together with different parts, a very slapped together Jaeger. It has parts from construction equipment. You can tell a lot of random pieces. One hand has metal fingers, while the other one has like part of a digger from some kind of construction equipment and you can tell it's really just thrown together. And this is a Jaeger that is piloted by Amaro in the beginning of the movie. And as far as the size goes, they are both very small, like I mentioned. Scrapper is listed at right around 30 to 40 feet tall. And while Baby Otachi doesn't have a confirmed height or size, I'd say Baby Otachi's right around that same size as well maybe a little bit bigger but when i saw this recommendation it was definitely interesting not only because these are two of the smaller creatures in the pacific rim universe but because it would be interesting to see when baby otachi came out it was not alive very long but what if scrapper and baby otachi did run into each other how would that matchup go down now it is worth mentioning what these two did so baby otachi basically just came out and died like i mentioned you think it dies for sure at first but then it actually eats hannibal chow not a very big accomplishment, but Scrapper is a Jaeger that you see Amara and Jake Pentecost piloting in the beginning of the movie. They were able to outsmart November Ajax in the beginning of the movie, climb up and use their skills to actually get away for a second before they're eventually caught. And not only that, in the end of the movie, when Scrapper does come back and is able to jump out of a plane, go through a building, show extreme durability and use the ability to curl up into a ball which is a very big ability and it then is able to weld the rocket to gypsy avenger's hand and use that welding torch to rip through gypsy avenger to get the amara and jake out of that jaeger so that's a very big weapon for sure and that weapon if it's able to dig through and tear apart a jaeger it would definitely be able to tear apart baby otachi no problem obviously scrapper's weapons got upgraded later in the movie you really only see the welding torch as far as what was upgraded. I'm sure there was some other things upgraded. If Baby Otachi came out of the normal Otachi and then Scrapper decided to meet him right there, obviously Baby Otachi's at a disadvantage. If we're talking about just right how it happened in the movie, the umbilical cord's right around his neck. But let's say that's not even there. Let's say Baby Otachi doesn't even have that umbilical cord around his neck. If you look at it, Scrapper basically has everything to its, its advantage. Baby Otachi may have the size. I will give Baby Otachi the size because I do think it's a little bit bigger but if you look at the weapons the weapons for baby otachi none of those weapons are formed from what we see and scrapper definitely has weapons with the welding torch and definitely has speed and agility with the ability to mm -hmm. curl up in the ball and roll around very fast speed and agility definitely goes to scrapper durability easily goes to scrapper because it's able to go through buildings get knocked around, jump off Gypsy Avenger coming down like an asteroid, and slide down the volcano. Very impressive there. So basically every item other than maybe size edging out to Baby Otachi goes to Scrapper. And I think if these two were lined up, not even including the umbilical cord, let's say Baby Otachi's just running around, I think Scrapper will have no problem going in there. Not only being able to race around, just run circles around Baby Otachi with the ability to curl up in the ball, but that welding torch will definitely do some major damage and get the kill in the end. 
But make sure you let me know down below who you think will win in this matchup and what you think of this matchup. Trust me, though, I'm trying to get to as many matchups as I can. It's kind of a crazy time right now. I have a lot going on, but trust me, I will try to keep doing as many versus matchups as I can. But make sure you let me know down below who you think will win in this matchup. And thanks for watching.